Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. My name is Deplex and before we begin I do want to thank everyone for their continued support. Without you uh, I wouldn't be much here on YouTube and I really thank all of you for your support. Even the trolls, you can be a bit entertaining sometimes. I don't learn much from you but I uh, learn many other things from everyone else that is <laughs> very helpful with the uh, majority of things. Now uh, one of those things being, uh, well, the help in games to be honest. Uh, someone told me that I should uh, offer alliances to all my puppets and I've done that just now so we should see a little spam of, uh, of acceptance messages otherwise I'll fuck them up to you. <coughs> you didn't hear that. Uh, yes, here we go. Military alliances. Um, if I call them to a war now, I can't do that yet. They should move out of the borders if they feel that it's necessary. If not, they'll probably just stay home and guard everything. I'm fine with that. After all, I am winning the war quite heavily. Talking about the war, we should put everything on an aggressive blitzing stance. I want everything to move forward. And don't stay behind now. That is very unimportant. Take Irkutsk, um, Omsk, and Novosibirsk along with the airport. And there should be one up here somewhere. Severo Eniseskih. Severo Eniseskih. Yeah, or Eniseskih. Something like that. Take Ulya, take Bushi Shantar, and take the far most northern region along with this one. Not the northwestern Sarlansk plains. And also the Komans Komandorskia Ostrova. Two million men working on that. We'll have a lot of uh, troops at home. Now, I'm. Ooh, Crudel's actually going up now for once. That's weird. I'll probably plummet instantly. Yeah. And my poor supplies are really not working out that too good to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna stop automating the trade. I'm gonna go speak to the Americans. Uh, trade agreement and I wanna buy your oil. Oh! Yeah baby! Say yes to that. Yes! Crude oil. Here it comes. Hey! 30 plus traded for. Uh, it converts it to fuel, right? All motorized units. Aircraft needs to operate effectively. They converted all that instantly. I'm gonna have to buy more. And more and more and more and more and more. Yeah, I've got the energy. Hey, America, you wanna trade? I mean, I'm up all about that trade, man. Uh, some more with England. Uh. <sighs> All the crude oil a man could ever have and want. Losing lots of money though. Loads of money, but the crude oil is going up and that makes me gain more fuel that I need for such a successful navy. You know, it's sometimes really nice not to have a navy. Hey, you killing these Russians? I, you fucking better. Because then you don't have to worry about the naval stuff. But then again, you can't travel too many places. Uh, let's do all that. I mean, really, if you are a country like Poland, no, that was a bad example. Switzerland, you can't go in on any boat journeys across the Mediterranean like you could if you live in like Italy or something. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, a country without any water is generally not the most industrially effective nation. I mean, Switzerland makes ch beautiful chocolate. It's got good banks everywhere and everything. I mean, that's what they live off. Uh, and many other things as well. Watches and stuff like that. But it, they're not like the biggest industry like Germany, mainly because not of their size. But they've also got tons of harbors. So they've got an easier time with the distribution of this. Of course, people let Switzerland export. But um, there'll always be money in the, in the way there. But I'm pretty sure Switzerland got tons of that anyways. So they're, they're, they'll be fine. Metal. Are we making it? Not much. Money. Are we making it? Not much. Trade over from Costa Rica. Except that. I think I'll let this one go to... Possible. Yeah, look at that. Soviet Union will cede Oka and Alexandrovsk. Thanks, too. That's two regions. I think... I think that's these cities. Something here on the eastern front, at least. What about Mongolia, you peaches? Hey, I'm gonna conquer you. You heard. I want you. 
Can I declare war on these guys? Oh, no, but I can call these guys to war, and that's pretty good. Korea, call to arms. Call to arms. Can't give them transit rights. They want to deny it, so they have something to put blame an excuse on or something like that. You c you're not supposed to deny that. These guys are staying behind. War here is uh, looking pretty good. Germany got quite big. They reclaimed lots of their previously lost territories. Sweden is pushing in there. <laughs> Look at that. And they got Copenhagen as well. Uh, the Russians are putting a fairly big uh, resistance here on this flank. Seems like the British... I mean, I hope they can keep up with it. I really, really do. We'll be watching over this for a while now. And I will be saving, personally. There we go. Notice there was a Germany save there. Yeah, I play around a bit with Germany. It's it's pretty fun, undeniably. Uh, it's really fun to, to not fight the East and just go all out on the West. That is really fun. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the Russians are definitely losing the Ural Mountains soon and will lose the Caucasus fairly quickly. Poor guys. It's not going to be too long until me and the UK meet up as well. My troops are all on blitzing stance, so they will be making use of the Blitzkrieg tactics, just the Air Force and everything being fully utilized. There's not too many airports up here, but we are landing airplanes whenever that's needed. Oof. Gonna serve me something to drink. Slovakia is holding out, but it seems like they're gonna get their shit pushed in fairly soon. Ah, New Year's Eve, yay, or New Year's Day, or whatever. Cheers to that. Self-propelled artillery brigade. That's fancy. That's some pretty new stuff. I won't be building any of that. Oh, more rebels. It was a very long time since this happened, though, so I'll I'll give them a break. I'll say fine. That's okay. Poland. Uh, 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 I'm wondering if they'll be able to hold this. I mean, the Germans are mm, pushing in quite heavily. The DDR had no chance by the Western-supported armies of the FRG. I don't know what that sounds for the FRG. I should know. I should really know. I know it's a DDR and FRG, but I, I can't remember what it stands for. <sighs> hmm. Bulgaria being the allies here, they're they're fighting down here together with the Americans and the British and <laughs> parts of it. So that's cool. Turkey hasn't joined anyone yet. Greece is probably in the fight as well. So the main fight is going up here and down here. And once Whoever loses up here and down here, uh, we'll see. Uh, well, they're definitely winning it down here. That's quite obvious. They're really breaking the Soviets from behind. Not to mention my troops coming in as well. They're spreading out real nicely. But these are pretty bad areas. These these are mountainous areas. Got my special forces division here. Trying to break through. Didn't really succeed, even though they're 9-9. Probably don't have the manpower enough. Gonna head back that out. Strike Commando Brigade. Holy fuck. Let's take a look at my production. Uh, we've, it's been some time. I see plus 15% supplies. That's not what I need. I need I need the resources. Resource focus. That is very important. Division. So. Let's take a look at the build time. The build cost. Light armor is still the highest for some reason. Infantry tank, that is the medium armor. Commando brigade. What's a mixed brigade? Infantry, artillery, engineer. Triangular, square, 
cavalry, motorized, SNLF, border guards, parachutes, and then some free templates that you can save. Brigade attachments. Let's take a look at the technology theory because they haven't even started doing bloody medium ar medium ar medium, ar medium armor designs yet. <laughs> Guess that's not what we Japanese people need. Uh, I'm not going to release China's puppet, but I am however going to bang for international settlements. Or perhaps not yet. I feel like I need a bit more of the supply there, to be honest. Diplomacy. Uprising occur and Soviet Union conquered or enforced on Slovakia. It is not looking that good, boys. But the British are holding this here. Uh, the Russians have pushed in here. They're fighting the Poles right now. I wonder if the Americans are involved in this. I haven't seen any American conquered territory in a long time. They're at they're war with them. I'll tell you that. Hell yeah. I mean, they gotta be top of the top of the food chain now. These guys. I mean, I I, I can't really tell how many. Troops they have or what their IC is at, but I am gonna send some spies here to Soviet Russia, and I'm also gonna send some to FRG. I'd be damned, I don't know what they're called. UK and the Americas. bank all right everyone we crashed I've played up till where we were before we crashed and uh, uh, let me see here I've done everything again I think yes uh, sorted out the technology oops look at this one not quite right there we go <laughs> and we got the intelligence going here but we haven't uh, got any spies in the countries yet because we don't have too many points on spies and the intelligence so we need to wait a bit until we can see what they're packing because I want to see what the three major powers Soviet Union, the USA and the United Kingdom at this current stage are doing. I think I'd rack in as the well we've got the UK who got the Americans and got the Russians but I I really do think I'm stronger than France, Italy Spain, Turkey, Sweden, Norway for that part I mean, what other countries are there, really? Lots of them has been, you know, conquered and everything. You know. Canada is in Mexico and Brazil is, of course, uh, two, three other fairly big powers. But uh, I think I'm racking in there as the fourth or fifth. Um, it'd be cool to see what if there was an overall ranking that you could uh, uh, find out. So my troops should be just rushing, really, the front now. Oh, uh, we took this one. We landed troops there. That's nice. And we should be able to land troops here, but we haven't done that yet. Troops here in Ulya, garrison troops. That we're easily breaking with our light armored uh, division here. Sensha, Sensha Sidan. Resource focus on that one. Bring it on. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> Conquered on Bulgaria, so now they're fighting Greeks. Or Greece, or Greek and British and uh, American troops down there, which is kind of bad because they just opened up another front. They're not doing too much in Europe. It's really just a stalemate, I think. Um, hopefully, the Swedes can push in and do a lot of damage together with the British as well. They don't seem to be pushing in too much, but it's overall a pretty good conflict. It's the, the the British have completely decimated the enemy here in the central parts <laughs> of. Russia, and not to mention my dudes coming in from the east here. I reckon I'll be able to snatch up a pretty good uh, good amount of uh, territories from it. And the Mongolians are going to get s uh, smattered, shattered rather said, any time now, which is good. And god, this cider that I'm drinking really dries out your mouth afterwards. Oh, fuck. And I lost my cell phone yesterday, so I was a bit grumpy earlier today. It's kind of bad. Ow, that hurt.
Education advance allows the research of university. Hmm. Guess we didn't have that. Still holding Irkutsk, but our guys are gonna come in here from above that. It's gonna be over. Ow, 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 I hurt myself really bad. My headset's broken, actually. Ow. Ow. So, I get, like, electrocuted <laughs> by some of the things in this one. It's really annoying. And I actually just saw tons of Russian troops here. Did you see that as well? I don't know if that was a recon plane or radar or whatever. But that was scary. Can I build radars? No, I can't walk out and build radars. Let me get fucking radars. Come on. We don't even have first aid. Oh, the fall of Berlin. Berlin, Adolf Hitler envisioned. Best of has finally succeeded. Uh, yeah, succumbed to the advancing Red Army. After a pitched battle in which Soviet troops stormed the critical seal of Heights at East Berlin, the fighting was brought into the city itself. German pioneers attempted to speed the demolition of the Moltke Bridge of the Spree, but only partially succeeded with the Russian infantry still able to cross in large numbers. After a fierce battle inside the Reichstag building, the Soviet flags finally raised on its roof. That kind of happened. World War Two, this kind of after it, but it's kind of the same, I guess, how German troops were holding out. Hopefully they can hold longer, because once they're done with it, oh my god, the Russians have just crushed the Greeks and the UK now. Look at that. We'll see how they can hold here. Swedes? Ah, oh, they're crushing the Russians up here. That's interesting. But once I come in here together with the UK, the British are storming in from behind. Look at what they've captured here. And here comes my boys. They're ready to just storm in. See, I'm really close to them now. But I'm not being invited yet. Look at that. Join faction. Impossible. Pfft. Fuck them. Not much else I can do. If they don't want me, they don't have to have me. Second special forces here. We've got the reserve corps here for some reason. Got the f first special forces here. Got our cavalry armored cars and fascist militia just storming in there, going all nuts on the enemy. Got more troops on their way. We do keep a fairly large amount of troops back here, really, to to sort of stop any Russian invasion from the east. These are a lot of good, highly trained. Infantry divisions covering the harbors and everything down here, which I reckon is pretty logic. How do I remove that one? Can't. Okay. And uh, I should be able to hold this one as well. So we've got Russian mechanized there, or anti tank, or infantry tank, or whatever this symbol stands for. And we'll soon have these guys around as well. Uh, not to mention that we're coming in from the above here quite heavily. And that we're breaking everything that they have. So my sort of war on this front. Not worried about that one. One bit. Not one bit, mate. Let's get some consumer goods. They help us generate a little this and a little bit of that. We just conquered Mongolia. Which leaves us with Xinjiang. Which we are also going to conquer. So Blitzkrieg Army. Forwards. Take Urumki. Take it. Some of these troops are being sent up. Thanks for that. Really sucks having too many troops at home there. And we chase them away with our ninth and fifth Shenshidan. Shen, Shen Sha Shidan. Yes, that's what it's called. These guys are coming in from above as well. And it looks like we can cross straight over here in like rowboats or whatever the fuck it is. Just stray over like that, like a boss. Yeah, here's what the Russians had. They had some of their army groups back here. Probably their Eastern Command or something. Uh, and they'll probably try and break us there, but we should be fine. Your Korean Air Force as our help. Not to mention, look at this. I mean, sure. 
the Russians. Oh, they might just lose Berlin again. They might just lose Berlin again. Berlin might be recaptured by the Germans. I wonder if they have an event for that as well, or if that's like logically or physically Im fucking possible. Oh my god. Alright, we're going in here. Oh my god, what a fucking war, man. First of war that took so many lives, now another one that'll take even more. The Allies are storming in here to Sevastopol, and uh, the Allies are still hanging on to this. The Greeks are still hanging on to this. And, I mean, the Russians have spent a lot of resources down there and everything, and we've got the the Allies on the, the side as well. But, this, the advance down here. I mean, they're going to destroy Xinjiang. They're going to get take this once we've taken this with, together with the Allies. We'll push left together with them. But we can't see what they're doing, because I don't have vision of what they're doing. Which kind of sucks. Doesn't it, right? It does. <coughs> and we've got a uh, lot of them surrounded now as well. He could actually storm down there and take care of that thing. I don't know why he hasn't done that already. Okay, this guy was part of the 16th Corps, so sometimes you just gotta take command and you just gotta do some work, you know. You just gotta work that thing. Because otherwise, the AI will never do it, uh, they will never die. I am President Obama. And I think that... I don't know. There's a province here called Obama. People need steak. It is at stake. Toyota. It's probably from Toyota. Nagoya. At least we didn't get Japan nuked this time. Probably would if we declared one of the Americans. Depends though. Uh, question is, like, at the at the top of the the war, right, the, in the middle of it, or whatever you want to say, sorry, sorry, if we could invade America, like, we'll transport troops here and then we'll invade it, we'll attack it and destroy it. I wonder how that would be, like, because if America had its all of its troops here, and if we sent two million to America here, I don't know if they pulled back troops or whatever, but I think we'd take it to be honest. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go with some sort of mad thing. Because then the British are just going to rush us down here and destroy us. They've got... It seems like they have the majority of their army o over here, actually. Considering that they're losing parts of Europe. Did... Oh, Berlin was retaken by the Germans. This is a good day for the FRG. As the, the other DDR is just completely bottle screwed. If that is an even expression. The Swedes have taken so much. They're even going to take Leningrad any time now. Look at that. Got some dumb rebels rising up here and there. The British have pushed pushed in as well. And it looks like... Wow, look at that. Sweden growing to be this new power here in the north. It reminds me of an uh, old Napoleonic map. Except we owned most of this around here though. The Baltic states as well. Cool, cool, cool. Poland, they're at war with us. They'll have it sooner or later. We're also holding this here. The Germans are holding this line pretty nicely. They're they're actually tasked with holding this whole line here against the Russian forces, which is kind of hard. But then again, the Russians, they're going to have to spend lots of efforts on this now and this, the threat from above. Sweden. Okay. Intelligence reports. Uh, USA, or um, these guys, sitting at a total of, let me see here, uh, about 7,000 manpower, which is uh, makes sense, 7 million men, that yeah, pretty much sense, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense, the rest makes sense as well, they've got no money though, Mikhail Kalinin, Josef V. Stalin, Josef. This isn't supposed to be Yosef, but maybe they've Yosef. Is that some sort of Russian part of it? Okay, that makes sense. So about 339 in total, I see. But it'll be interesting to see what these guys pack. If we can have some spice sent to it, we should have some more free spice now. Um, yes. Oh my god, the Americans with about 1,200 in total, I see. And currently 1,000 being effectively used. Oh my god. 
Zero manpower though, lots of money, lots of resources, but barely any energy. 100% in national unity. Leadership is very high. That is amazing. Though they got none manpower, I guess they've just used everything to field amazingly large armies. The UK, we'll see what they got. I reckon they'll be sitting at 600. For them. I mean, surpri Russians, surprisingly low amount of IC, well, considering that they've lost a large part of their stuff that makes kind of sense at the same time nope our spies have not yet been able to find out anything about these guys while we're in the midst of it I will save again just to make sure that we'll be fine if anything happens now uh, the Russians have pretty much been pushed back over here but I don't know, the the Greeks are losing it quite heavily. Uh ooh, <laughs> the British have taken a lot. God damn it, that's a lot. I've got some of my troops actually being down here attacking. Got lots of them over here, just goofing about everywhere. Uh we've surrounded them here as well. I wonder if I could push for that one and take it. It would be interesting to see if I could. Nope. Clearly not. 16th core. Command me. Special forces here. 2,000 special forces. And the we lost that, I think. But our fascist militia surrounded them. We're going to the far east, my friend. The far northeast of the world. In Soviet Union. With a fist. Stockholm. They've got a colored picture for fucking Leningrad. What the fuck? No one else gets a colored picture? Bloody Soviets buy photo camera with color. Kiev, Kaunas, Vilno, Minsk. It's a pretty cool photo right there. Soviet engineering. This looks good. This looks really good, to be honest. And oh, the <laughs> the Yankees, or it's, sorry, they're blue as blue. Swedes are pushing in quite heavily. Someone asked if <laughs> why Sweden owned this. No, this is not Sweden, my friends. This is simply the Americans' staging grounds for Europe. They were given to that by the UK, and like, right, you flood troops in, and we'll we'll be fine. So that's kind of what happened right now. American paratroopers or re rebellions occurring here in Slovakia, it seems. And the Swedes are really pushing in. Kind of cool to see this, actually. Together, them and the UK should be able to push back. It seems like they've lost a bit of ground here. But look at this. Are they capable of taking Anapa? Because they've been stuck at it for a long time. I reckon it'll be harder to take Kersh, as they've got coastal forts and everything. So if they're assaulting that, that should be a bit of a trick tricky thing to do, but they're coming in from the north here, which they should be fairly successful in, as they are taking mostly everything. So, here we are. Our own boys. Working the weapons. Really just pushing in the Russians right now. We felt that they got a little too big. And we don't like communism. I don't know. We did beat communist China, after all. And uh, the West has never really liked it as well. So, they were like, oh, shit, our friends in Japan has attacked the enemy. Oh, fuck. Throw in some troops. Attack them as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Another set of million people are about to die. It is horrible, but it is um, a necessary evil for the future, I think. Could be wrong. Supplies are running short. We're running short with everything, really. But we can now produce radar stations. I mean, that is so cool. I've always wanted to have some radar stations. I've never, I've never really had any. But I'm about to have some right now, and that is so cool. It's probably going to suck up all the metal we have, like... <laughs> but it'll be fine. We'll stop automating the trade. We'll go back to this here. We'll talk to them again. I want to buy... Some metal from you, and I'd rather buy some of this shit. Who would sell metal? You think Sweden beat up for that? 
Impossible. What a mess. No, Canada. Canadian heavy metal. No. Satan. FRG, Deutsche Stahle. Hmm. Fuck you then. Up yours with a rubber hose from all your friends at 4chan. But they accepted that, so we'll get more crude oil, which ultimately results into more fuel, which ultimately results, results into a faster blitzkrieg and more happy Japanese troops. Yay, if you will. Makes the cars go ring ring. And we are surrounding the dudes down here, and soon we'll have Irkutsk with another colored photograph. I'm quite jealous of that, actually. I'd like to see Tokyo in a color photography. Photography, rather said. We've actually, in fact, reached the bloody 50s soon. So there ought to be some color involved. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> the Greater Japanese Empire. Imagine if I had Manchuko and if I didn't release the other three little or four little puppet states down there. Then I'd be pretty damn big. Maybe I can somehow re conquer them in a way or two or whatever whatever is allowed I'll try and do it all right everyone might I add that the British have taken Stalingrad for a long time ago. No, it was Stalingrad. There it is. And they are pushing for Moscow together with the Swedes. <laughs> Sweden is just growing <laughs> insanely large. It's bigger than Germany, France and everything now. Sweden is in fact, to size, the biggest country in Europe today, I think. Yeah, in, in size. In total size. We beat Germany, I know that. We beat France and England. If there's not another country. But I think we are in size, but it's all wood, just forests, you know. So, will they give me metal? Everyone wants energy. Japanese power Tesla coil. Oh, we can supply them with that. That's not a problem. Swedes have yet not taken Leningrad, which surprises me a bit. But, yeah, we're definitely winning this. And here comes the... Who's gonna reach first to Moscow? Sweden or the English? Uh... It's gonna be a fight here. Let's say closest, closest. There's about one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's four territories on each side in closeness to Moscow. And it is really now a matter of fucking dick measuring here. Who gets first to Moscow? <laughs> Who gets there first? <laughs> Oh, Sweden's getting closer, Sweden's getting closer, Sweden is getting closer. If Sweden took this before the UK, that'd be kind of like, <laughs> what a bloody show off that would be. Because Sweden is not the most powerful nation, and they probably hasn't, They've well, the UK has probably met a lot of resistance down here, but the fact that we've been able to just push up that far and take it, that is uh, something I'm proud of here, not even playing as Japan. I mean, Sweden did really gear up towards the end there. We really stayed strong, to be honest. <laughs> the British now have been pushed back, I think. One, two, three, four. No. About the same. I don't know if it's Swedish Viking power now by the, 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 the fucking... These guys, I mean, Sweden's never been friends with the Russians, really, to be honest. Fought them for many times. But we're rushing to get to Moscow now. Ah, and the British are coming as well. Don't you understand? The AI must understand the importance of reaching Moscow before the British. It has really come down to struggle between two great powers. One perhaps a bit greater than the other. But, 
who will get there first with true arms and force and speed and technology and intelligence and cultural and everything. I don't even know what culture made its way in there, but it, it, it's, I don't know, I, I felt forced to say that. Ivanoyo it's gonna get captured now. Oh, look at that, coming around, coming around. Oh, it's just so close, it's just miles outside of it, miles outside of it. Like, by car that is an hour or two. Come on. The British took even over. Uh, but Sweden must capture Moscow. Sweden must capture Moscow. Come on, they're right there. You're right outside it now, boys. You're right out... I hit my computer with my fist. You're right outside it now, boys. They've surrounded it. You can stop the British from ever getting it by surrounding it. Oh, the British are coming in from the east now. They've sped up. Oh, and they've reached each other now. The Sweden... Sweden surrounding it now. Oh, the British are getting pushed back on the eastern front there. Oh, and they're pushing in. They're pushing in again. They're pushing in again. They're pushing in again. Who's going to be first to take Moscow? There's no airports nearby. Sweden's got an airport there. I wonder if they're... Oh, no, Sweden. Don't get yourself pushed back. Come on. This is an exciting race. Before we continue this, I just want to take a look at this. Seems like Sweden's getting pushed back up here in a bit. That's, that's pretty bad. But the British have pretty much surrounded all this now and they're coming in. Uh, FRG has ta retaken this. Greece has retaken this and they're pushing up. Uh, this is really what's left of the Soviet Union. This here is pff, wastes. Oh my god, what I have pushed in. <laughs> Oh my god, and uh, Xinjiang won't last long, will they? Uh, did I mention yeah, conquering them? Good. We will return to the commenting on Moscow. The latest and newest around Moscow. And it seems like if the British take this, which they probably will, and the Swedes take Odostova, it's going to come down to get the biggest surround on them here. Even though they can cross into each other's territory. I mean, Sweden reached Moscow first. I mean... I'm proud of that. Now it's just a matter of fact of who gets it. But look at that. The Russians are pushing back the Swedes up top here. It's a big back and forth, really. Why have we not taken the fucking Leningrad yet? I mean, there's no Russian troops remaining up here, I, I can tell you that. So whenever the British are done taking this and this, there's not going to be anything left of this right down here. It's going to be bombed to shitter. To the shitter, rather said. Here's a good view of the situation. Oh, uh, come on, Sweden. You can... Oh, no, don't get yourself pushed back. Russians. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? That, was, that definitely came from outside. <sighs> More rebels, fine. Kill them. Kill them all. More, I don't care. We need to take Leningrad and at least Tallinn. Perhaps get snatching Riga wouldn't be too bad either. Reform our little own Scandinavian empire, so to say. We do own Copenhagen. We took that now. That's good. Oh, come on. It's a fight between me and... Well, me, not me, but the UK now. Okay, I'm going to put this here on also. I'm going to save now in case uh, with all these pop-ups you could crash any time, really. Save. And let's continue. Part of the, the problem is with this let's play is that I didn't join any faction. So I'll be accounted as a loser, even though I own like a fifth or sixth of the world. So, a tenth or something. I don't know, a very large portion of the world. I'll still be accounted as a loser. Because I wasn't in part of a faction. You have to always be a part of the faction. Well, look at me. Just because I'm nationalist fucking government dictatorship, the allies don't like me. But they do like my troops. Should have joined Germany. No, I'm perfectly fine with this. I'm really proud of the results and everything. But it looks like they're holding Moscow. Damn it! Hmm. Yeah, the FRG is definitely pushed into here, into Poland now, pretty much, and Greece has expanded heavily. War harder, but not smarter. No, is it war smarter, not harder? Sometimes there's the other way around. I think if you play certain countries, like if you play the Central African Republic, it's like war harder, not smarter, and like gain 1,000 AKs. I don't know. 
No, I just said I just took that as an example because I read on the like ten most harsh places on Earth or something. I don't know. There's this picture of like AK-47 in Central African. I don't know. Central African Republic. Don't know. It's probably called that. C A R car. <laughs> There's none there though. <laughs> That's why they named it it. Because they don't know what it is. Okay, I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm fucking bad. Alright. There's definitely been. Sweden's definitely been pushed back, but they've they've got such a large part of this now. The UK is just going to capture these eight remaining provinces here. Nine. Make that nine. And then they've formed their little top part here a bit. Kind of like colony up north. For whoever's enjoying lots of skiing and all that. I don't know if there's any good mountains up there, but there's probably some good skiing up in Finland. Moscow is still being held, though. Look at the amount of fortresses around here. But take Leningrad, you bastards! You stubborn fucking fishers. Take it! That was like a dinosaur outside dying, if you heard that. It was like. 